This video is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com. Hey, James, Jobby here. Can we do an opening of the second set ever be created? Metal Raiders. As I said in my last video, I'm going to be posting the first 31 sets of Yu-Gi-Oh! From, uh, from start all the way to the finish. So all the way till the end of this month and the beginning of next month. So super, super excited about all, the, all this. And uh, on that, let's get cracking. All right, so we have five booster packs of Metal Raiders. Second set to ever be made. It's pretty awesome that uh, able to acquire these cards. Crawling Dragon, Llama Moth. <laughs> this guy's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so just enough faith. Awesome. Put that right there. I was able to get these cards for you guys from uh, a friend of mine. I actually met on eBay a long time ago and he is a full-time vendor of selling just loose booster packs. So he was able to help me acquire the first 31 sets of Yu-Gi-Oh. Now something I really wanted to do. Mystic Horseman is a card they used in Kaiba's deck, Dream Clown. So yeah, super excited about getting these for you guys. Elegant Egotist. Oh, nice, we got our first super rare. So Kajin, Sinjin. There was one more, and it makes Gate Guardian. Super awesome, I saw it in the show. Love it. Pulled our first super right here, and this, and that's a uh, really, really good. That's, oh, this was in uh, Pegasus' deck when he played, when he was playing, um, I know he played it on the field when he played against Kaiba. That was really cool. And for our pack number three here. Hunter Spider, Pale Beast, Rapid Horseman, Kaiba's. <laughs> uh, we got the Shadow Ghoul, really cool. This guy's really weird how you make him. Yeah, uh, Witch of the Black For Forest and Lady of Faith, and it makes a dude. I don't even understand how that even makes any sense. But uh, yeah, so moving along. Dragon Piper. Shadow Ghoul is a really cool card. Gains 100 attack for every monster that you have in your graveyard. So you can get pretty dang big. It does take one tribute though, so it'd only be really good at like, getting late game. Cannon Soldier, really cool. Uh, tribute off monsters on your side of the field, and you can inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent. So, pretty dang good card. It was a card they were running for a long time back in the day uh, with scapegoats and stuff, build a burn your opponent for 2,000. That was when the game was a little slower, of course. Okay. Protector of the Throne. Little Skull Knight. Jellyfish. Oh, a Blade Fly. That's awesome. Oh, sweet. We pulled an Ultra. Seven Tools of the Bandit. Wow. That's amazing. It's a really, really good card. It's kind of funny because this set is the second set to ever be made. This is one of those cards you always see played from time to time. It's like, it's crazy. Especially when the, the Blackwing format to be able to uh, stop those Icarus attacks and whatnot, that card skyrocketed in price. So yeah, we ended up pulling two foils. That is amazing. Kajin and the Seven Tools of the Bandit. And then we got our rares here. Uh, we got Bladefly, Cannon Soldier, Shadow Ghoul, Elegant Egotist, and Magician of Faith. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please post a comment below. Like, subscribe for more. And if you do have a chance of winning a free booster pack, I'll be announcing the winner of the comments of tomorrow's video, which will be Magic Rulers. And on that, Jobber here is signing off.